Welcome to Cyber Talk, wherein we talk about the life and how it is to be a cyber backer working from home. Cyber Talk is powered by Cyberbacker, the leading provider of world-class admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.ph for more details. All right, another week, another episode of Cyber Talk. My name is Jello. I'm back with another episode, and of course, we have our career department this time around. So we have Kelly and Andy. How are you guys doing? You're doing great. All right. Thanks, Jello. Very excited. Perfect, perfect. So, for the benefit of everyone who's listening, of course, why don't you tell us something about yourself? How long you've been here in Cyberbacker, and what do you do in Cyberbacker? Let's start with you, um, Kelly. Yes. So um, my name is Kelly. I've actually worked here in Cyberbacker for more than a year now as a career backer. So our job is actually to pair our clients. So we're very committed to providing the quality candidates for our clients. Of course, getting them with their Cyberbackers. How about you, Andy? How long have you been here? Um, I've been with Cyberbacker for two years. I started 2019. Um, I started my career Um interviewing candidates then after a year was promoted where um where i do the pairing to our candidates to our clients okay so that's the good thing about cyberbacker right the growth never stops because we will always have a position for you just as long as you're doing great right ladies definitely yes right. that's right so um for the listeners our topic for this week is going to be all about commitment all right, we're going to be talking to our awesome career backers about commitment. Now, let me ask you first, Andy, what makes you committed to what we're doing right now? Um, what makes me committed is, of course, um, we have, we're in this company because we want to help the company, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're not just, you know, a part of the company, you're also considered as a business partner. So um, that makes me committed. I love your answer there, business partner, part of the team, part of the family, right? How about you, Kel? Maybe you can touch a little bit on that as well. What makes you committed? Well, I think what makes me committed is knowing that the company trusted me because I know they will not position me in this type of role if they think I can do the job. Of course, of course. Again, the growth never stops here in Cyberbacker. Now, next question is, how do you show that commitment to what you're currently doing now and to Cyberbacker? And why is it important? Um, let's start with you, Kelly. Well, for me, I think I can definitely demonstrate my commitment to Cyberbacker by doing my one thing, which is actually to pair our clients. Because it's very important because we want them to receive the services that they deserve. I commit to providing them not just candidates, but of course, quality candidates whom I think can really help them grow their business. And I know you will agree with me that it just simply means one job for our co-Filipinos. So it's definitely a win-win situation. Of course. Yes, that's definitely true. And since we're talking about a company already, Cyberbacker, the image is built by everyone inside the company, correct? Inside Cyberbacker. Now, how do you contribute to that, ladies? Let's start with you, Kelly. Um, I think by staying true to my one thing, which is to bear our clients, because like what I've mentioned, I don't want to just provide our clients options, but I want to provide them the best candidates that I, they could actually ever ask for. Because at the end of the day, if the clients are happy with the services that they are receiving, then it will just show how great our company is and why Cyberbacker was established in the first place. Yes, Cyberbacker is here to help you find that business partner. How about you, Andy? How can you contribute to that? Uh, for the company's image, first is being professional. I know most of the things that we do is virtual and most of our world, you know, our interaction with people are mostly online. And I know everyone would agree that um, there are some people that would say bad things about the company. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying bad things back to them, it is best to handle it with ease and elegance and professionally. Yes, professionally, of course, of course. Now, this question is, again, I think we answered this earlier, but do you see yourself growing here in Cyberbacker, Andy? 
Um, one answer, yes. <laughs> I see myself, you know, I don't see any, you know, length. I, I see myself probably more than five years. More than five years here, of course, because we're trying to create not just a job for you here, a career, of course, the long term. How about you, Kelly? Do you see yourself growing here in Cyberbacker? Well, like what Andy mentioned, we definitely can see ourselves growing here in Cyberbacker. And you know what, Jello, every day is a learning day here in Cyberbacker. So definitely every day I'm growing. I definitely commit mistakes at times, but the good thing is I'll learn from it and make myself a, version, a better version every time. And the good thing here in Cyberbacker is you will not just experience career growth, financial growth, but most importantly is the personal growth. Yes, personal growth. Um, money would come, of course, a career would come, but personal growth in the people that you talk to, that you work with, things like that, right? Now, ladies, how likely would you recommend Cyberbacker to friends, to family, and to the people listening and watching to this episode today? I'm Kelly. Well, I definitely would want to recommend Cyberbacker to, of course, my friends and family, a company who actually creates an open communication. And, of course, I would want them to realize that they don't need to risk their lives to face the heavy traffic every single day just to report to work mm -hmm. because they can earn as much dollars at the comfort of their homes. And most importantly, I want them to experience the success that I'm experiencing right now. I think that's the most important thing sharing the success with everyone how about you andy how likely would you recommend cyberbackers again friends family and to the people listening and watching here today from the very start i i'm very i would like people to try cyberbacker or to be part of this amazing company um not just Aside from the things that Kelly have mentioned earlier, I want to highlight career growth. It's something when I started here, I don't have any experience yet. And I was promoted after a year. And that's something really unexpected. And, you know, um, I want others to experience this as well. Of course, again, sharing it with everyone. Not just, of course, the goal of Cyberbacker is to get how many people again here? Who can give me the answer? How many people do we want to be part of Cyberbacker? Right? 15,000 Cyberbackers, right? That's the goal yes. of Cyberbacker, of course. Now, this that we're actually done with the series part of the podcast. Now, this is something, mind you, to all of our listeners and people who are watching. We don't really give this detail out to everyone who's going to be on the show. We actually have the fun part of the interview, okay? So, since we are part of the career department, Kelly and Andy are, um, I have a few questions here prepared. Right? Don't feel that you're going to be embarrassing someone. We just want to get to know the career department more. Okay? Now, in the career department, who is the person who is the funniest? Who's the funniest person in the career department? I think it's Louis. Louis? The new Louis promoted career backer. <laughs> okay, yes. so Louis. Um, Why, whenever Louis? you're going to be on a Zoom call with mm -hmm. him, he makes a lot of jokes. Actually, if ever that you're experiencing some sort of uh, challenges when it comes to our role, because we all know our role is def definitely um, a very, very big role. So you just have to hop on a Zoom call with Louie and he can make it a great day. All right. So same answer with you, Andy. Am I right? So Louie. Yes, definitely. Louis. Okay. Why Louie? <laughs> Louis is a great guy. Um, he recently got promoted as a career backer, and I'm very happy for him. And he deserves it. He's a very supportive, not just a, a you know a colleague, but also a friend. Okay, gotcha. So Louis, shout outs to you, the funniest person in the career department. Now, next question: Who's the person that you always send a message to? Hey, I need your help. Hey, can you help me with this? I have a quick question. Who is that person in the career department that you always ask help for? Uh, may it be something related to work or something personal? You just need to talk to him. Um, who is it? I think for me, it's um, Girly. Girly, okay. Girly and M, actually. Mm -hmm. Tell me yes, more. Yes, because I think... Because we all uh, agree that uh, they were in that position for a longer time than us. And I think it's very important to communicate with someone whom you think has a much more knowledge with the position. So that's why I think I'm leaning towards Girly and M. 
All right. So girly and M. How about you, Andy? Any person? Same, actually, same person. Like when Kelly mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, M and uh, girly, they're very, um, you know, very open when we have problems, when we have questions, they're always there even outside the shift. And, you know, um, you can feel that he wants us to, um, he wants us to succeed. Okay, gotcha. So career, M and Gurley then for the, the for that question. All right, I have one last question. Um, there is always I'm not we're not here trying to uh, make someone feel bad. Okay, ladies, someone in the group always is that let's say the one who's always serious. Someone who is always serious during the meeting. You can't really send a message to them because they're always working hard. You know what I mean? Um, who is this person in the career department? I think I have Andy? to think about that. <laughs> I, I'm not serious. <laughs> okay. I'm not that serious. I would say probably Curvin. Curvin, okay. Why Curvin? Um, I think Kelly could answer that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kelly. Why Curvin? Oh, I, I think I agree with um Curvin as well because I think it's really more on the personality of Curvin. He is a very calm type of person, so I think. He's a type of person who likes to work um, on a side note on his own. So I think it's more on the personality side. But I think it's not a big uh, or it's not a setback for Kervin, I think. Mm -hmm. Because it's just that maybe it's really on the personality side of Kervin. Because at the end of the day, it's his personality. Of course, of course. Maybe he's just busy working, things like that. There are really people like that. And it's not a bad thing, yes. of course. And yeah. there are certain types of people who wants to work on their own. But if you need them, just stop them and then they'll be there. Of course. Part of the team, part of the family is what I mentioned. Now, if you could describe the career department in just one word, what would that word be? Um, Andy? Fun. Fun. Why fun? Cyberbacker is a growing company. So does the career team. And even though we're growing, all of the people inside career, we get along together. Mm -hmm. There are, you know, challenges. We encounter challenges. But at the end of the day, we make sure that we support each other. And aside from that, um, um, you know, even though sometimes there are challenges that we encounter, we make sure that we, you know, we, we, we have fun. And we support, you know, support one another. Of course, that's part of the core values of Cyberbacker. One of them is fun. How about you, Kelly? I think it's going to be open. Open. All right. <laughs> because just to support with Andy here in the career team, we are very much open when it comes to the small wins. Even the small wins is actually considered as a big victory with the team. So if in any case, there are certain times where in, um, you know, we're experiencing hardships, like what Andy mentioned, we have a lot of challenges that we're going to encounter. But at the end of the day, what you need to do is to be open with the team and then they have your back. They will definitely um, make you feel better by, you know, like what mentioned to Louie. He can definitely make us happy even just for a short span of time. We can definitely, you know, um, let go of our bad um, but scenarios or bad happenings that we have encountered for today. And then we can definitely relax and then just move forward and then solve the problem. I think that's definitely one of the biggest things that is very important in a department to have open, open communication actually. Of course, I think that is the most important thing, open communication. Even if we're in different parts of the country, different parts of the world, open communication is very, very important. Now, one last thing before I let you ladies go. I know you're very busy. One last thing. Who are the people that you'd like to thank for your journey here in Cyberbacker? Let's start with you, Kelly. Well, if you're going to ask me to specify persons, unfortunately, that's something that's not i'm not comfortable with mm -hmm. because i think during my journey here in cyberbacker i've encountered a lot of people right so from the team itself from the career team they were a, they were all a part of my journey here in cyberbacker so i think um from the other departments as well even to craig i will not be in this position or we will not be in this position if at the very first first place they don't think I can't do the job or we can't do the job. So I think my journey here in Cyberbacker started with them by trusting me. 
thank you very much for being here on the show, of course. Kelly, Andy, thank you very much for your time. I know you're very busy. Thank you very much again. Thanks, Jello. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Right. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you to all the listeners of Cyber Talk. If you enjoyed our podcast, don't forget to watch out for our upcoming episodes. We're going to dish them out weekly. Do visit our official website, www.cyberbacker.ph. And don't forget to like Cyberbacker on Facebook and Instagram. Once again, this is your host, the one, the only. My name is Jello. Always remember, make life bigger with Cyberbacker. Till next time.